What's up guys? I'm Lois and welcome to my channel. Um, today, I'll be showing you how to take film-like photos with your DSLR camera. That means you don't need a film camera, you don't need to pay for expensive film, you don't gotta, you know, wait for it to develop. I can teach you secrets and hacks that I've learned on how to get film-looking photos with just your DSLR camera. I love the film effect. I love um, just the gloominess of it, the the dreaminess of it. But I'm not gonna go out and buy a film camera for it when I can just do an effect on my uh, my own DSLR camera that I can even edit and tweak on Photoshop. So I'm excited to show you um, how it, how this goes, and I hope you learn something out of it. By the way, this is my first YouTube video. So I'm pretty nervous yet excited. So hope you guys enjoy. So guys, these are the equipment that I use for this photo shoot to get the film-like effect. So of course I use my Canon 5D Mark II, um, my 50mm 1.4, my 35mm 1.4, and I'll also be using my mom's star filter. This is something with her camera accessories when she used to own a film camera when she's a teenager and it gives this cool starry effect. So I use that. Also, I used a, an in, um, something I found also for a lens. I don't know what it is, but it seems to work. I'll also be using that. You can use glass. You can use a water bottle. You can use about anything um, that you can find to put in front of your camera. If you didn't know this, you can also use ladies' pantyhose to put over your lens so that it can give this cool, brown, foggy, film-like effect. And you can use the ladies sock, the mini one, you don't have to buy the whole pantyhose but there are some that are just small and that's perfect to just wrap around your lens to get that cool effect. The thin ones like this, they have I mean, this the brown holes. color, yeah like pantyhose type and it comes out really really vintage wow. in the photos too. It has this really cool effect so you can basically use anything, it's really cool, looks so artsy. Oh. Over. So for lighting, we're going to be using natural light for this shoot um, because that's kind of what I, the feel I'm going for since I'm going for something vintage, something 90s inspired, something film. I will also be using a reflector because when I was shooting it was very gloomy and I really needed the help of my reflector. So for the look of this shoot, I was going for 90s nostalgia and I wanted natural makeup because she was gonna be just like a young girl in um, her bedroom, like hanging out. So yeah, so that's the look. 90s nostalgia, that's what we were going for. Um, very simple, very vintage. Um, as well as in the styling, we did, I didn't want, I did want to plan things um, with a color scheme, everything had to match its color. So she was wearing a pink shirt, and her the blanket was pink. The the light beside her was color pink. Her Game Boy was pink, and you don't know what like you don't notice it, but it just gives this effect. It just looks so good in the eye when everything sort of matches. And then for like the second look, which was more dark and moody, I was going for browns and reds. And I made sure even the background was brown, her skirt was brown. And that's a cool tip for you. Just keep in mind colors when you're shooting. Prep and wardrobe. So basically what I do is I go on Pinterest and yes, Mother Pinterest, thank you so much for your help. <laughs> Seriously, I don't know what I do without Pinterest. I, whenever I have a photo shoot, I go straight on Pinterest. I look for concepts, I look for um, different, I look for um, examples going for 90s nostalgia. So I type like 90s, like theme photo shoots, and I just saved all of them, got ideas for outfits there, and um, I started from there. And then also, when the model comes in, 
I do show her all the Pinterest photos so she can get an idea of the feel I want, the look I want, the poses I want from her. So she's not like left in the dark like what do I do. And also when I do run out of um, inspiration or I run out of ideas while I'm shooting, I go back to Pinterest and I kind of look back and check poses and things that I want to... Um, uh, example, okay, when you're shooting, sometimes you get a creative block and sometimes you need help from Pinterest to um, look for poses, look for different angles. So that's also a huge help when you have a creative block and I get that um, kind of a lot sometimes when I shoot. So it's really helpful and it's really helpful for you to have that in hand, all the photos you probably saved um, just to look back on it for inspiration. Also, the location for my shoot was in my grandmother's house. It was just upstairs, so it was really chill the whole entire shoot. It was, um, it was also raining a lot, so I ended up shooting her in three different beds, and I didn't even realize until the end of the shoot. I was like, we should just call the shoot bed weather, because literally we didn't get to go outside to do any shoots, because it was just raining and I didn't want anyone to get sick. So we did three different beds, but totally different um, styles and um, themes. Yeah, just experiment with filters, experiment with socks, bottles. If you if you have a star filter, that's cool. If you don't, that's fine. Anything can do. You can even put plastic over it and then put petroleum jelly and it will do the same thing possibly. So just have fun with it and happy shooting guys. See ya.